Well, um, I know it's been a while since, a um, couple of days since I did a, a video, so we'll get you caught up. Uh, obviously, we're still um, out of the bedroom, but we've got uh, all the electrical run now. You can see the uh, we have all the lights in now. Those are those are new. Uh, that lighting there wasn't there before. Uh, we're going to have like uh, hotel lights over our bed for each of us, and they're on their own switches. So uh, Angela can read, or I can read at night, and uh, uh, not bother the other one too too much. And uh, you can see we've started uh, the closet. Um, Hair down here will come in. You can see this is where that's where the uh, door used to be. The closet wall, you can see there used to be a knee wall, uh, really more of a shoulder wall <laughs> uh, back there. Uh, this was closed off entirely, uh, dead space. What we're going to do is this will be uh, that what used to be a little closet, and that's where we had access to the uh, attic and uh, let me move that light out of the way you can kind of see it's framed in here for a little uh, uh, attic access um, that's not going to be the attic access anymore um, what we're going to do is uh, this will be the doorway for the closet and uh, there'll be some uh, uh, bars running across here to hang stuff on maybe a little uh, uh, storage shelf unit down here at the bottom uh, but then you'll turn and come in here and uh, you can see the knee wall over there under the window uh, that knee wall will, will be extended across here and then there'll be a new framed wall here uh, down to sole plate on the floor um, this flooring uh, this little 3 8 inch finished oak flooring that's going to be cut out and um, uh, a new floor put in here because we don't have I can't find this anywhere it's circa 1947 so it's going to be real hard to match this up um, so since it's a closet I don't mind just taking this out we'll put some other some laminate or something in here um, but then uh, the couple of studs right in front of us on this uh, dormer wall and that dormer wall over there, those will be removed and uh, this will be walled up uh, where the other door was for this second closet. You can see there used to be a wall right there. I've got that out along with this uh, knee wall here that used to be here and that framing is leaning over there. Um, then this will be, there will be a new wall put in place here uh, running with this one and uh, what I'll do is up here close to the top I'll put some sort of uh, transom window that will allow light from the window uh, that's going to light the closet during the day uh, to pass through into the room and then I'll have it on a pivot to swivel to allow air uh, to move <coughs> so again a wall will be here on the uh, from there across to there <clears throat> and these uh, studs here will be removed and a new header will be installed and uh, <clears throat> uh, that one will probably be removed too and um, built in cabinetry um, and uh, rods and things like that so this will all become one big uh, walk-in closet uh, from that doorway over there and just come around the corner and through and then here on the low side with the uh, gabled roof this will be uh, built-in cabinetry for uh, clothes and things like that and you can see I've got it wired now uh, with light the light switch that's over there on that stud when you first walk in the closet that controls all four closet lights there's uh, one here, one there back in the dormer area, one there, and then one we saw on the other side of the doorway. So 
lots of light for the closet and uh, once we get it drywalled <clears throat> so uh, uh, that's uh, that's kind of where we're at we have decided that we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, get this room uh, finished getting the uh, insulation up which I started uh, you can see some of it going up there and then uh, the drywall up in here so that we can temp we can kind of move back into the house and not uh, bother mom so much um, <clears throat> and then uh, I'll leave the closet uh, the closet will be insulated and drywalled and then I'll finish the closet uh, after I finish the bathroom <laughs> so uh, you can see we kind of started the the ceiling's been drywalled um, but we're going to get all the drywall done in both rooms all of the cement board you can see the cement board there on top for the in the tub and uh, the drywall and um, we also before I get this um, ceiling uh, filled back in I got a lot of cleaning to do up there you can see at one point the gable vent uh, had a lot of um, a bird activity and there's screens on both sides now to prevent it but they did a lot of damage so I got to get up there and fix that and get all that cleaned uh, then we also want to bring up I've got a bunch of wood outside that we're going to use as decking material up here in the attic so I've got to get that up through these openings while it's open to me now and then I can go ahead and get this insulated and drywalled and get kind of moved back in here but uh, so that's that's uh, where we're at and uh, we'll talk to you later bye